Hi friends, welcome back to my channel, SciTechCore. In today's video, I'll try to show you how you can actually add the real-time FPS meter in the Realme X on Max device. The reason why I'm doing this kind of video is because just a couple of hours ago, I did upload the same kind of video on the Poco F3 GT and on the OnePlus Nord 2. And the users from the Realme X on Max, they did message me that, can you please make a separate video on the how to enable the real-time FPS meter while playing games in this phone. Yes, you can actually do that, which is present in build. That's what I'm going to exactly show you in this video. As you can see in this exact variant which I'm trying to use. So first, to enable the real-time FPS meter, you need to go to the Game Space application which is available in the Realme X1 Max. So once you open the Game Space application, now you need to add the games, whatever you want to uh, display the real-time FPS meter. So in my situation, I'm trying to uh, open this game which is a Battlegrounds mobile game. Let me try to open the game. So once you add the game in the Game Space, so the next step you need to do, just swipe from the left side. As you can see, friends, once you swipe from the left side, here you'll be able to see the real-time FPS meter which is present on the top, as you can see exactly. So one more thing, this is not the floating FPS meter. So floating FPS meter right now, it's available in the OnePlus Nord 2 and in the Poco F3 GT. Yes, those two phones, you do have the floating FPS meter. So you can actually see every time, even while you're playing the game. But in the Realme X1 Max, you cannot see every time. You can only see whenever you swipe from the left side. That's it. Only now you will be able to see the real-time fps meter as you can see but you cannot play with this kind of right because the fps meter area is completely covering the game as well 40 percent and 30 percent of the screen so this is one thing small drawback they should have included the floating fps meter instead of having this kind of side fps meter and this fps meter is also supported up to 90 fps so right now i'm, I'm playing the game battlegrounds mobile game as you can see 90 fps in the realme x1 max device so with the recent update, we do know the Realme X1 Max has got a 90 FPS update, right? So now you'll be able to see the real-time FPS meter floating as you can see exactly. So when you don't touch the screen, the touch sampling rate and the refresh will automatically go down to 60 Hz. So right now it's going to 60 Hz as you can see friends exactly. If you touch the screen, as soon as you touch the screen, it will automatically change to 90 FPS. So there's some kind of mechanism is going on right now to, to prevent the battery uh, draining. That is the reason I think so. So this kind of mechanism is there. So whenever you don't touch the screen for about maybe close to six to seven seconds of time, so it automatically goes to the 60 Hertz. So when you touch the screen one time, now you'll be able to see, let me try to exactly show you. Close, now I'll be able to show you as you can see. Now you'll be able to see the real time FPS meter coming about 89 FPS as you can see, 89. This is one thing. Right now I'll be trying to explain you clearly friends, even in the background, the game is going on, the game is running and everything, but the FPS will decrease to 60 FPS. As you can see right now it's decreasing to 60 fps but when i'm touching the screen let me try to show you exactly right now the fps will be remaining around exactly when i'm touching the screen it will remain about 90 fps as you can see 90 fps it's working as soon as after some time it will immediately decrease down to 60 fps after some time immediately after some time that is what is happening in the realme x as you can see but in this way you'll be able to see the real time fps meter by adding the games into the game space only that's the one option which you guys are having from the realme team Definitely you can do that. So that's it friends. Thank you for watching this video. And in, in case if you have any other doubts regarding this one, let me know in the comment section below. And see you in the next video friends. And then straight up for more updates. Meanwhile, signing off. Bye.